Hello everyone, this is the Technodog channel, a channel about new products in the smartphone industry. Today we're comparing the new Samsung Galaxy A41 with its older brother, the Samsung Galaxy A51. We're going to find out if there is a significant difference between these models. Links to stores where you can buy the smartphones at good prices are in the description below this video. Like this video and subscribe so you'll always be the first to watch new reviews on the Technodog channel. Recently, Samsung has released a large amount of models. It does it so often that no Xiaomi has ever dreamed of this. But unlike the Chinese brand, all Samsung phones look surprisingly similar in appearance, with a little exception for the flagships. However, Samsung's are similar, not only in appearance, so it seems to be a game where you have to find 10 differences. But difficulties never stop us. Therefore, we are going to find these differences. There isn't a dozen of them anyway. Now, let's start the review. The front panel of the Samsung Galaxy A41 is occupied by a drop-shaped screen for the front camera and thin frames. There is a tray for the SIM card and SD flash drive on the left, which can be installed in a separate slot. On the right, there is the volume rocker and the power button. There is an additional noise reduction microphone above. At the bottom, there is a USB Type-C connector, a speaker, a main microphone, and a 3.5mm headphones jack. The rear panel has three cameras with a flash in the upper left corner. At the bottom, there is a large Samsung inscription. There is a fingerprint scanner built into the screen. The Samsung Galaxy A51 has a large screen with a small round hole for the front camera in the center. The frames around the display are narrower. All buttons and connectors are in the same places as the younger model. The phone, just like an older brother should be, is slightly larger and heavier. On the rear panel, in the upper left corner, there are already four photo modules and a flash. The cameras are not grouped in one line. They are located in a rectangular module. The manufacturer's logo is also placed below. The fingerprint scanner is at the bottom of the screen too. The back panel of both models looks original due to the shiny prismatic pattern. It is made of modern plastic with a glossy protective layer. The coating is practical, scratches are not very noticeable, but fingerprints are very visible. There is some kind of problem with the oleophobic coating, both on the back panel and on the screen. The frame is also plastic with a metal finish. For both models, the back panel can be white, black, or red. Both models have a modern, almost identical design. The Samsung Galaxy A41 is slightly smaller and lighter, but the Galaxy A51 has a more fashionable cutout in the screen. The screen is the strength of Samsung smartphones, and our current models are no exception. They all have good displays with a large margin of brightness with excellent viewing angles, saturated colors, and with perfect black color. The always-on display function works well. All of these are the signature features of Samsung AMOLED screens. The resolution is high, 2400 by 1080 pixels. Now, let's talk about the differences. The younger model has a smaller screen. It is 6.1 inches versus 6.5 of the Galaxy A51. The cutout for the front camera of the Galaxy A41 is drop-shaped, while the Galaxy A51 has a small round hole in the center. Both smartphones work on the Android 10 with the proprietary One UI interface of the second version. This is a very comfortable and modern shell. The user interface is well thought, everything is intuitive, there are wide possibilities for customization. The shell is not heavy and it works reasonably well even on weak processors. The Samsung Galaxy A41 camera received three modules. The main one at 48 megapixels, the wide angle is at 8, and the depth sensor of 5 megapixels. The shooting quality of the main module is not bad, but along with good shots, you can get a little noisy. In low light, the detail is lame. The big disadvantage is the absence of the night mode. 
Although in poor lighting conditions, the Galaxy A41 takes better pictures than, for example, the Galaxy A31, which also has no night mode. The quality of shooting with the wide-angle camera is not very high as a whole. The Samsung Galaxy A51 camera received four modules. The main one at 48 megapixels, the wide angle at 12 megapixels, the macro and the depth sensor of 5 megapixels each. The main camera shoots well. The photos are obtained with accurate natural color reproduction, wide dynamic range and good detail. There are sometimes problems with focusing around the edges of the frame. In low light, pictures are often overexposed. This can be fixed if the camera works in the pro mode, but few users might do it. The quality of shooting with the wide-angle camera of the Galaxy A51 is slightly better than that of the competitor. Good photos are obtained only in sufficient light. The clear advantage is that the wide-angle camera produces minimal distortion at the edges of the frame. The quality of shooting with the macro camera is not gorgeous, but it works just fine. In terms of the quality of the photos taken with the main camera, especially during the day, the older model isn't much ahead of the younger one. But the Galaxy A51 shoots videos much better. The older model shoots video in 4K resolution with good detail, but without stabilization. But when shooting in 1080p mode, the electronic stabilization works well. The Galaxy A41 can't shoot at all in 4K, and there is no stabilization in full HD mode. This is quite insulting, since the color rendition and detailing are not bad. So I do not recommend people with a weak vestibular apparatus to watch videos taken with the Galaxy A41. You might get seasick. The front cameras on the models are slightly different. The camera of the Galaxy A41 has 25 megapixels, and the A51 has 32 megapixels. But the shooting quality is equally good. Selfies are bright and clear. Background blur works correctly. The Samsung Galaxy A51 won this round. It takes slightly better photos and much better videos. The Samsung Galaxy A41 uses the MediaTek Helio P65 12NM processor and the Mali G52 video accelerator. The chip is much more powerful than the old Exynos 7904 that the A40 had. The Samsung Galaxy A51 has the 10 nanometer Exynos 9611 processor of its own production and the Mali G72 video accelerator. In performance, it differs little from the Exynos 9610, which the A50 has. As a result of such an unequal upgrade of the processors, the A41 and A51 are almost equal in performance. Both models received mediocre processors. They will not play the most resource-intensive games at maximum settings well, though the users will not feel any problems with speed in everyday use. The applications start quickly, the interface works smoothly and clearly. The Samsung Galaxy A41 has only one configuration option. It is 4GB of RAM and 64GB of ROM. The Galaxy A51 can also be with 6GB of RAM and 128 of ROM. Both models can have their ROM expanded by installing an SD card in a separate slot. The communication capabilities of the two models are the same. They support 4G on both SIM cards, dual band Wi-Fi, and the fifth Bluetooth. There is an NFC module for contactless payment. The battery capacity of the Samsung Galaxy A41 is quite modest. It is 3500 mAh, but its autonomy is acceptable due to the low power consumption of the AMOLED screen. The battery should last for a full day. The Galaxy A41 supports accelerated charging and comes with a 15 watt device. The battery capacity of the Samsung Galaxy A51 is more. It is 4000 mAh. If you use your smartphone modestly, the battery charge may last for a couple of days. The Galaxy A51 also supports fast charging technology and comes with a 15 watt device. Wireless charging is not supported on either of the models. Due to the larger battery capacity and more energy efficient processor, the autonomy of the Samsung Galaxy A51 is higher. 
As always, we've looked through the internet resources and read reviews on the Samsung Galaxy A41 and the Samsung Galaxy A51. Let's start with the negatives. The Samsung Galaxy A41. 1. Its plastic case gets dirty easily. 2. It shoots a video badly. 3. The phone heats up when playing. The Samsung Galaxy A51. 1. The cover is not included. 2. Its processor is not very fast. 3. It has a slow fingerprint scanner. The Samsung Galaxy A41. 1. It fits comfortably in the hand. 2. There is a separate slot for a memory card. 3. It has a bright high-resolution AMOLED screen. 4. It charges fast. The Samsung Galaxy A51. 1. It has a nice design and original drawing on the back. 2. It has a great screen with a small hole. 3. The quality of shooting photos and videos is good. 4. There is an NFC module. Let's sum it up. The Samsung Galaxy A51 won in many criteria. It has a better camera, higher autonomy, and bigger screen. The advantages of the Samsung Galaxy A41 include relatively small size and weight. It seems quite natural that the older model won. What is unnatural is only the fact that both models cost the same. At least the official price is the same. It is very strange. The Galaxy A41 got moisture protection when released in Japanese market. But it was removed in the global version to make it cheaper. Apparently they forgot to lower the price. Write in the comments below what you think about the cost of the new model. Which one would you choose? Well, if you are ready to pay more for the reduced and lightweight but with less features A51, then the Samsung Galaxy A41 is your choice. Don't forget that links to online stores where you can buy smartphones at good prices can be found in the description below this video. That's all for now. Like this video and subscribe to the Technodog channel so you'll always be the first to watch a new review. Write in the comments below which smartphones to compare for you next time. Bye everyone!